The journal MTLT reflects the current practices of mathematics education and editor-in-chief Angela Barlow is here in studio with us this morning with a little bit more about the journal. Thanks for your time today. No, thank you. I appreciate any opportunity to get to talk about the journal. Well, you're wearing your pen today. Ask me about MTLT, so we're going to do exactly Excellent. that. Excellent. Can you talk a little bit about MTLT's point of view? Yes, yeah, so we really take on the classroom perspective. So I uh, think about any math educator, whether you are a um, practicing classroom teacher, a university person, pre-service teacher, math coach, math specialist, whoever you are, okay. that you're engaged in that learning process with students in the classroom, that is the perspective that we want to share. So we are looking at what is happening to support all of our learners in learning mathematics. So when you say that you come from the classroom perspective, does that mean that you're getting feedback from students? How do you, how do you maintain that perspective? So most of our articles are written um, in a way that it shares the voice of students. So it could be sample dialogue and you hear that interaction between teacher and students or it could be a video where you're actually watching that but it's that perspective that it is grounded in the classroom because that is where the learning is occurring. Who should be submitting to MTLT? Everyone. <laughs> okay. Everyone. <laughs> this uh, is a call for submissions. <laughs> it is. Everyone should. So many times I hear some of our classroom teachers, they'll say, um, you know, I'm, I would never write for the journal. And I'm, why? Like, we want your voice. Okay. And if you find yourself, like, a, with a great idea and you're thinking, but maybe I'm not the push person to do it. Well, first of all, change that perspective. Second of all, contact me. We have lots of resources that are available to support new authors. Um, but then also find a friend. Like It is so much fun to sit down and figure your way through this process of writing and submitting and so forth with a colleague. We're all a little bit braver when we have someone by our side. So I seriously mean everyone and want to encourage, especially classroom teachers, to be submitting their ideas. Is the number one reason that people don't submit is kind of what you were just referencing? They don't think, I'm not the right person to author this. Mm -hmm. I, I think that there's a myth um, that it's just university folks that are publishing in the journal. And we do get a lot of university folks, but what I love about those folks, and I'm one of them, right, I'm at a university, is that they're still math educators that are in the classroom. They're working alongside teachers to try and figure out how to best support our students. Um, but I want to get the more classroom teachers involved. And in fact, we have a special program where um, we do, it's called MTLT Fellows. And so if you're a classroom teacher and you're here presenting this week at NCTM, we'd like to hear from you and we'd like for you to think about applying to that program so that you can turn your presentation into a paper. Um, if you're a novice author and you're submitting for the first time and you want a, a writing mentor, I'll find you one, okay. right? So we're trying, I really want that voice of the classroom teacher um, in the journal alongside the math specialist and the math coach and the university person that are writing for us. So for someone who might be a little bit timid, they know they've got a great idea, the support is there. You're going to get them across the finish line. Absolutely. Okay, so you've got the button on. <laughs> for maybe somebody who is watching right now, you've piqued their interest, they have a great idea, they might like to submit something. Where can they find you? Are you set up in the exhibit hall? Does everybody have the pen on? <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of us with the pen. So okay. if you see one of these, definitely stop and have a conversation. Okay. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time today to share the information with us, and hopefully this was a great call for submissions. Exactly, and thank, thank you. you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it.